October 1942. In the 10 months since Pearl Harbor, most of Southeast Asia had fallen to the Japanese. Burma, Thailand, Malaya, Singapore, the Philippines, and now they'd set their sights on New Guinea, just a few hundred miles from the shores of Australia. We all knew that the battle for our homeland would be won or lost in the jungles of New Guinea. From the first day of training, Mick Murphy and I had been mates. I suppose we were pretty different. He was a farmer with a wife and three kids. I'd never met his family, but I felt I knew them pretty well. I was a city boy, footloose and fancy free. fussy sort of bloke. So watch on your toes. All of you. You've got your ticket, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. It's all right. I remember you. You've had 10 bob on Colonus and 33 to 1. Now, I hope that some of that ends up on the plate tomorrow, soldier. Not much chance of that, father. I'm Anglican. <laughs> oh! Men, stand fast. Men, I'd like it. Howdy, men. As you've probably gathered, I'm your new platoon commander. Lieutenant Edward MacDonald. Actually, I think you all know rather more about me than I do about you. <laughs> You're no doubt aware that we've got the Japs pretty well boxed up. The Yanks have been floundering around for weeks trying to push them through to the coast. Of course, we all know why the Yanks aren't much good at fighting. They're too worn out from chasing after our women folk. <laughs> but we're going to show the Nips that they can't fool around with 700 boys from the AIF. 
With a bit of luck, we'll all be home for Christmas. Any questions? How far are the Yanks from the coast, sir? Approximately 12 miles. How long do you reckon it'll take us to clear it? It's assumed by the brass that we'll accomplish it within a week. A week? I reckon I could do 12 miles in half a day. <laughs> Good show, Private. You do that. And you can have a hot meal waiting for the rest of us. <laughs> Got it. Got the lieutenant some food. How are we all shaping up then? Good, thanks, sir. A real bonzer. Enjoying your meal? Not as good, 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 good as my, mm, mm, my mum cooks. We, we, we raise our own meat. He's radio ops, sir. Lieutenant? It's hot, sir. First time in action, sir. Yes, it is, actually. But I feel like I've been training for this all my life. Cadets at the King's School, then military college. Untrue, sir? Yes. Oh. Nice to chat with you. Come on, boys. Come on. I reckon my old gran could beat that bloke in a fair fight. <laughs> Melbourne Cup night. I'd be out on the town tonight. I'm all got up in me suit. Giving the girls a thrill. Real Romeo. They line up when they see me coming. Oh, modest too. I wonder how they're managing without me. There's plenty of Yanks to look after that. It's all right for you, you're married. Yeah. Geez, I made a real mongrel of myself the day I left. How come? Uh, the family gave me this. Girls must have saved for weeks for it. Sally dipped into the family savings. It's a beauty. Yeah, I gave them hell over it. Well, I wanted them to have the money for themselves, especially with me away. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get back. It's ass. You're the one that'll need looking after. Father, these men are going off into battle. Help them by giving them the strength and the courage that they need. Enable them to meet their danger bravely. Keep them from disease and sickness and bring them back safely to their loved ones. Let us pray. Ego te absolvo ab omnibus censuris et peccatus. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.
Nancy had chances. Want to give it a go? Used to be a lifesaver at Bondi. ここちらここ出た姿です。杉本は弱り切っていたし、食い物は大体もなくなったでしょう。あ、さっき食っていいぞ。敵が数名こちらへ近づいてくる奴らは野営を出るのを見たこれで兵隊らしく死ねますね杉本のように飢え死にしなくて済むしかし奴らはな十分に食料を持ってるはずだそれを手に入れられれば一数週間を持つぞ
用意しますか。The enemy are on their way. With the help of the gods, Sato and I will kill them. If I must die, I will do my best to do so with a noble spirit for the emperor. Yes. Doesn't appear to be any movement. They might be all dead. Oh, something else. Check it out. Sir. Leave the brain gun here. I'll cover you.
集まってあれ映るな Hey, MacDonald! MacDonald! You mongrel bastard! Moise! Stinky! Lyndon Curtis! Yet. We might be the last ones here. I'm bugging it by now, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, listen. There's a crater back there. Just back over there. Uh, if I can get to that, now listen, I might be able to sneak around the back of the foxhole, right? Yeah. And drop a grenade in just for a little present, right? Right. And you think you can keep me covered? Yeah. I don't want you to move, right? Right. I'll be going. Nick? Nice. Ready. Well, up, copper. Right. On the count of three. Right? Yeah. One, two, three.
I'm here, mate. I'm here. Here. Yeah, mate. I'm here. Oh, oh my God. Go. 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 No. Yes. 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 No, mate. You'll be right. I'll fix you up and I'll get back to Henderson. No. No. No, mate. No. I'll think of something. I'll, I'll patch you up. I'll get some fuzzy wuzzies to help me get you back to the ammo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Before you know it, you'll be back at Moresby. You'll be patched up and you'll be going home. We'll be walking down the road towards home. And there'll be Sally waiting for him at the door. And they'll all be they'll all be waiting for you. And the kids will all be there.
I've got something here to keep me awake. I am full of the desire to go back home alive, just once more. But I will put these thoughts behind me.
sorry, mate. I should have looked after you better. mosquito that can give you malaria. He said, hell, man, you got good eyesight. <laughs> Get out there. Get yourself pretty more nips, right? Yeah. Get them here. Stan, how are you feeling? No, all right. Oh, you're a very lucky man. You know, it was touch and go there for a while. I called in to see you last night. You were tossing and turning, calling out in your sleep. Is there something that you wanted to talk to me about? I don't think so. Not with me, with God. Sometimes it can help to talk things over. He knows. He understands what you've been through. It's not up here, Father. Not in New Guinea. Don't you blame God for the war, Stan. Only man can stop the war. <laughs> You've got an answer for everything, haven't you? Talk to God, Stan. Let him hear your confession. Confess. All right, Father. I'll confess. I confess that I killed me best mate. Put a bullet through his head. I confess that I killed a Jap out there. He was lying on the ground, helpless, and I stuck me bayonet through him and I enjoyed it. I confess that me rotten platoon leader ran like a bloody rat and left me mates to die. I confess I'm not a man anymore, just like the rest of us poor bastards up here. We're all just animals. I confess that I hate the politicians and the generals and the church, all of you, for letting us become like that. There's no God up here because there's no God anywhere. And I'm a bloody fool for believing all the bullshit I've been fed for years. Don't lose your faith now, Stan. Now's the time that you need it most. Still alive. Give me your right hand. Give me your right hand. 
like a boo-boo. Don't worry, Dick. I'll get square for you. I'll get a nip. Yeah, yeah. half kill a dozen of Jeff's close up. What are they like? Don't piss to your brother now, Bob. Let him have his cup in peace. I'm gonna go and tell everyone he's home. You've lost a bit of weight, but you haven't really changed. No, Bob. Your brother's still full of talk about joining up. He's not old enough. Yes, he is. How is Mick? He's dead. Mick. Boys. Bestie. They're all dead. Tea will be ready soon. I've got a nice roast. Junk if you want it. Gee, thanks. What's this? Nothing. Give it here. So where's your medals? Haven't got any. Why not? Dad's got two. killed Japs, didn't you? A few. What 
was it like? It's not like the movies, mate. Wait to get to New Guinea. Don't be so stupid. I'm not being stupid. Listen, mate. The Japs are just about beaten up there anyway. You'll only get yourself killed or maimed so some general can get himself another medal. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of men. I don't think it's a waste of time to defend your country. Nothing's worth what's going on up there. That's the sort of talk you hear from blokes who haven't got the guts to fight. Wake up to yourself. You wake up to yourself. I'm no coward. I'm talking sense to you. You're talking bullshit. You wouldn't have a bloody clue. It's all just a uniform to you. What on earth's going on? He's gone crazy. Are you all right? Yeah, ma'am, I'm fine. Go and read a book or something, Bob. I don't know it gets into you sometimes. I didn't even do anything. Just sit quietly. Stan all right? I don't know. Go in and have a talk to him. You've had a rough time, son. Yeah. Yes, I suppose the first war, my war, was different. Look, I, uh, I know we haven't talked much over the years, but it's not because I haven't wanted to. It's because of, there just didn't seem to be much point two of you, Mum. <laughs> but it would have helped if there'd been someone. So I, I just want you to know that I'm here. If... Thanks, Dad. They eat you, Snow. They're animals. It's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be a long time.
しあなたは私の夫ではありませんあまりいいですよピッシュストップ If you want to relieve yourselves, now's the time. What did you say? I don't know. What did you They're a bloody useless lot, aren't they? Look, turn around and piss, piss, like that. Sina ka mo kero tsu te rashi na. Sina ka mutareru ga iya ya. Well, what's wrong with them? Maybe they don't want us to see what they've got. Oh, bugger them! I'm busting. Give them a demo, breaker. Show them what to do. Good idea. You turn around and you piss like that. Piss. We've already done it. Now you do it. G'day, Sid. You coming to the game tonight or what? イタリア人だ。違うぞ。日本人だ。市の収容所に違いないな。
仕事です小松二等兵です君たちの複雑な気持ちはよくわかりますしかしここはそんなに悪いところじゃないじゃあ案内しますこっちですはい親睦ですよ。みんなは捕虜になったんでありますか君たちの考えていることはよくわかる先人君は捕虜になってはいかんと説いている我々は生きていてはいけない立場にいるが事実生きているここの者たちは皆八に耐えその試練を何とか克服しながら生きているんだ君たちもその気持ちを忘れず頑張ってほしいはいあ,あここが君たちのハットだ中さんおはよういい天気だね新入りだよろしく頼むよ中に東平は自分がまだ捕虜だってことが信じられないんだ兵隊だと思い込んでるだがまあ気がいいので心配なくじゃあ行こうか
ろうあのまあ奴らはな帝国軍人たるべき使命を忘れるために飲んでおるんだ君と僕は忘れておらん絶対に忘れん Dear Mrs. Murphy, I was with your husband Mick when he passed away in New Guinea. I know this must be a hard time for you, and like me, you probably don't want to think too much about it. But I brought back some of his possessions, which I would like to give you. Please let me know if it's all right to post these things to you at this address, or should I keep them until you can pick them up? If there's anything else I can do to help, I'd be glad to. Mick was my best mate. Yours sincerely, Stan Davidson. Sure. Actually, I do have to get to work. It's been lovely meeting you. Pop in and see us again if you're down in Sydney. Thank you. You must come and see me if ever you're in Cowra. Not much chance of that. He was furious when we gave him this watch. Because we'd spent the money on him. He talked about you a lot in his letters. He thought very highly of you. He was a good mate. You were with him when he died. Yeah. It was a Catholic mission that had been taken over by the Japs. We were told to clear it out. I was wounded fairly early on. Mick tried to get to me to help me. straight away he was going to be my husband. There was just something about him. He was a rare mixture, Mick. He was strong and dependable, but real gentle at the same time. He wasn't an angel, you'd know that. Mick would hate to think that we were making him into something that he wasn't, wouldn't he? Yes, sir. 
When was your last attack? Last week. Go to a doctor? No, sir. Didn't seem much point. I knew what it was. Then how do I know you're telling me the truth? You don't. Wounded. In the shoulder and the leg. By the enemy. Well, come on, boy. Drop your tax. Right. Sorry, son. Have to make sure. You'll be classified B2. What's that? Unfit for active service. You'll probably see the rest of the war out doing guard duty or uh, pushing a pen somewhere. Bloody drongo. Does Mum know? Yes, she um might be your posting. They've made me a corporal. Good boy. And I'm to report to prisoner of war camp number 12 at Cowra. Prisoner of war camp? What do you do there? Cowra, that's up west of Bathurst, isn't it? I think they've got a lot of eye ties out there. Isn't that where your mate's wife lives? It seems like as good a place as any to see out the world. Corporal Riley, orderly Rain Clark. Corporal Davidson reporting for duty. Davidson. Davidson. Yeah, I'm here to guard the Italians. Who do I see? What about? Who do I report to? Oh, uh, Major Horden likes to meet the new arrivals. Is he here? No. Are <laughs> you expecting him back? Yes. Uh, would you like to wait? Uh, He's out exercising his horse. There's a show coming on. Thanks. Stand easy, Corporal. Do you know anything about the Geneva Convention? Not much, sir. 
They laid down some rules to protect the rights of prisoners of war. I run this camp by those rules. There are hundreds of thousands of our boys in the hands of the Japs and the Nazis. If we break any of these rules, it gives them the excuse to do the same. I don't intend to give them that excuse. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Well, it's probably not necessary to say this to you. It's the soldiers without battle experience who are trigger happy, in my opinion. But I won't have this camp turned into a battleground. You familiarize yourself with those rules. Sir, there's a Jap. Yes, it's one of the prisoners. The Nips make good cleaners. I thought the prisoners here were Italian. Yes, uh, most of them are, but we've got 300 Japs here. They're the ones you'll be guarding. Your experience with them will come in very useful. Well, I'm glad to have you aboard, Davidson. Uh, Lance Corporal Riley will show you the quarters. Bloody jap over that hoarding. Nothing too good for them. Fresh fish three times a week. That's the jap compound over there. Koreans and Formosas in one on their own. The eye ties are in the other two. They practically don't need guards, those eye ties. You lock them out and they fight to get back into camp. This is where you got to. Hmm? You've been fighting those blokes. French fight left in those fellas. Left, left, right, left, left. Tatan to mazui desu yo. Tatte kudasai. Morning, Mr. Banawi. Good morning, Major Holden. How are you today? Very well, thank you. You got any sick to report today? Two are sick today. Corporal, start the count. Squad! Start the count! What do I do? Well, let me dig her and start counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Bloody hell, not these two again. Come on up. Don't get up. Come on, you fox-eyed monkeys. I said get up! You're dead. Shoot! Shoot! やれ。やれ、やれ。殺せ。殺せ。見せ。こいつは真の兵隊だ。俺の自身の感じとも違う。国軍人として共に Pull yourself together. Madarina Sai! Who's dead? Madarina Sai! You two again. 
Tell them to get back into line. Listen, you mother. You heard what he said. Get back in the line and bloody stay there. You two have been nothing but trouble since you got here. You've had enough chances. Detention block this time. Mo, yo, so what's your name? Hey, so he did that. I was very surprised by your conduct this morning, Davidson. I would have thought a man with your experience would know how to handle the Japs. We very nearly had a nasty situation on our hands. Sir, I'd like to request a transfer. Let me guard the Italians. The Italians? My old mother could guard the Italians. Lance Corporal Riley could guard the Italians. I need you in the Japanese compound. You've got to understand what I went through in New Guinea. Those animals wiped out my whole section. Killed my best mate. I thought coming here would give me a chance to get away from all that. To just forget it. Relax, Corporal. I'll go and relax. It's my son, Robert. Boy about your age. He's a prisoner of the Japs. When I first heard that, I thought that I'd never be able to face a Jap again. But I'm afraid I had to. And then I discovered that what they say is true, that the best way to get a problem out of your system is to do just that. Face it. Believe me, son, you can't run away from a problem. You've got to stop sometime. And it'll always be there waiting for you. So stay and face it and come to terms with it. Will you give it a go? I suppose so, sir. Good lad. Now, I want you to take the rest of the day off, come back tomorrow and make a fresh start. Posted to the POW camp. The ruthless and the toothless. That's what they call the guards up here. Well, I'm one of them. The Italians? No, the Japs. Oh, Stan, how awful. Can't you get a transfer? I've tried. They wouldn't give me one. Well, what are you going to do? Not much I can do. Still got the farm. Of course. Mick talked about it so much. I reckon I know exactly what it looks like. Well, I'm on my way home now. Would you like to come and have a look for yourself? I'll give you a lift. I've got my bike outside. Motorbike? Yeah. You going? Without a guard. A lot of the Italian prisoners live on the farms out here. I don't know how I would have managed without Vittorio. He used to work as a farm in Italy before the war. Sit down. It's family owned land. I haven't seen much of the Italians. Oh, they seem quite a happy bunch. Not like the Japs. They're a surly lot. I get the creeps just looking at them. You're home early. Mr. Rusty, yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Daddy? Don't be silly. Daddy's dead. Mr. Davison was in the war with your Daddy. This is Margaret. 
and Therese Hello. and Shirley. You two bring me anything. Oh, Shirley. Oh, well, next time. Therese, could you take this tea out to Victoria? I'll do it. You're too small. You'll spill it. I'll take it. I am not. Oh, Shirley, Mia, Cara, Mia, Regaza, mwah, mwah, mwah. Shut up. Mom, make her shut up. That's enough, Therese. You can take the tea. And Shirley, you take some cake, all right? There you go. I'm gonna get this. I'm giving it to him because I've got the cake. Would you like to stay for tea? It's only stew. Mick said you could make stew out of an old army boot and make it taste good. <laughs> Things aren't quite that bad yet. Thank you so much, Jane. That's Grandpa's house in Broken Hill. That's Rabbit when she was a baby. And that's your daddy. Daddy said you used to live in a hole in the ground with him. And you snored and kept him awake. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Mick used to read me bits of your letters at night. I knew about Margaret winning the athletics medal at school. Yeah. Therese coming top of the class. Rabbit trying to cut her own hair. Just about everything, I reckon. Did he tell you why he called a rabbit? He delivered her. Mick did. She decided to come early. He was frightened at first. But then when it all started, he was wonderful. And then when she was born, he held her in his arms and he cried. And he called me Rabbit. That's right. He said you looked just like a skinned rabbit. He was the best mate a man could ever have. 